so we can use the numeric controls and indicators on the front panel to enter and display numeric data in lab view applications in this video we will see the common use cases of numeric controls and indicators available on the modern next gen style silver system or classic sub palettes for numeric control and indicator availability so let's spin the classic palette which has the most controls available so first we have the uh, numerics which we can use to enter or display in numeric data. Then we have uh, timestamps. Which we can use to send or retrieve a time and date value. Then we have fill slides. horizontal and vertical which we can use to display numeric data in a vertical or horizontal slide with a customizable scale then we have pointer slides pointer vertical slide and horizontal pointer slide which we can use to display numeric data in a vertical or horizontal slide with a customizable scale and a pointer that helps us see the exact value then we have uh, progress bars for which uh, we can go to the silver palette the horizontal progress bar and the vertical progress bar which we can use to show progress in a vertical or horizontal bar then we have the graduated bars the vertical graduated bar and the horizontal graduated bar and we can use these to show progress in a vertical or horizontal bar with customizable dividers to help us break up the value into equal parts for example we can show that a value has reached 25 percent of the target value then we have knobs dials meters and 
gauges. So let's remove the clutter. And we can use these uh, knobs, dials, meters, and gauges to enter or display numeric data in a rotary action. Then we have tanks and thermometers, which we can use to display numeric data in a vertical slide that resembles a real tank or thermometer instrument. Then we have um, scroll bars. So for those, let's go to a modern palette. The horizontal scroll bar and the vertical scroll bar and we can use these to display numeric data in a vertical slide that scrolls through data by dragging the square scroll box scrolling the mouse wheel clicking the increment and decrement arrows or clicking empty space in the scroll bar then we have the color boxes round one and the square one which we can use to display a color that corresponds to a specified value for example we can use the color boxes to indicate different conditions such as out of range values then we have uh, color ramps which we can use to display a numeric data with colors as the input value changes, the display changes to a previously chosen color for the value. And lastly, we have waveforms, which we can use to enter or display numeric data in a waveform. So let's remove all this clutter. So when we replace an existing value in a numeric control or indicator with a new value by pressing either enter key or clicking outside the digital display window or clicking the enter button which is this one. While the VIE runs, LabVIEW waits until we perform one of these actions to interpret the new values. For example, if we are entering a value, say 1 to 3, we would not want VI to receive the value either 1 or 1 to before we have entered the complete value, which is 1 to 3. To retain the floating point representation, LabVIEW adds any necessary prefixes to the unit string when we format a numeric control or indicator in an engineering or system international SI notation and do not have a complex representation.